there's a lot of family situations, a lot of really crazy situations that we're dealing with. And you know, it's intense and, and these kids need hope. And that's what we're really praying and hoping for is that this weekend um, at Rock the River, that kids are gonna actually have some hope poured into them. And guess what? They can live on. There's life. There's, there's a reason to live. Let's do this, friends! So right now we're here at Rock the River. We're gonna see Skillet, Wiley, Hawk Nelson. Like the people here love Jesus so much and it, that is what it's about. It's not just a rock concert. It's just such a good way to present the gospel in an easy, accessible way and I'm so excited for this. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> To just admit, my faith is paper thin. God loves you. He made you, He created you, but it's sin that separates you from Him. And if you're willing to come to Him today through His Son Jesus Christ by faith, He'll forgive your sin and you can come to God and you can have a relationship with God. You can be forgiven. And today you can be free from the guilt and shame of sin. Today you can have a new life. Today you can have a new get beginning. But you've got to come to God one way, and that's through His Son Jesus Christ. For the first time, revive me, Jesus. Make this cold heart start to move. Help me rediscover. Just this past year, I started getting into all kinds of drugs and drinking and partying and everything. I blamed everything on God and I was like, why is this all happening? He goes and he says, now there are Christians in the crowd who haven't been following God like you're supposed to. And then I just turned around and said, I can't do this anymore. He's totally right. I rededicated my life to God and now I feel Born again, again, such a good feeling. I found it really neat that someone so young just stepped out in faith and was ready to trust God with an issue that was out of his hands and he knew that it was out of his hands so he just went to God with it. I just thought it was really cool that he was able to do that and he was comfortable with doing that too. I came down as a counselor and I was standing at the front and then somebody just gave me these two little girls and it was like God had just touched all of us and I could feel the Holy Spirit and it was just so amazing and she thought it was really cool that now like God is the king of kings and she's his little princess so it, it was really special to her. It was just amazing and it felt awesome. When, when this like after I was done being prayed for and stuff I felt really refreshed and stuff. Well, we've just finished uh, Rock the River for 2010. We're here in Edmonton. Kids have come forward. We've seen hundreds here get saved. And that's what this is all about, is preaching God's gospel. And here at the Billy Graham Evangelist Association, we're just battling for the souls of young people like this. Uh, we've got a full slate next year planned. We've got more crusades this fall. We're going uh, to Eastern Europe. We'll be going to Japan. So we need your prayers. Uh, Stick with us. We need your support. God bless.